Hello everyone and welcome to this demo of the blockchain audit trail that I implemented as part of my thesis at the University of Amsterdam. Um, we can see an already running application right here with uh, some contact groups and contacts in it. Uh, and here we can see the audit trail that belongs to this application. Now we see a single audit entry here uh, which contains a list of changed properties uh, that were changed in the creation of this dummy data that I, uh, that's in the application. And in this audit entry, we also see an Ethereum transaction hash, which signifies the exact Ethereum transaction in which a hash of this uh, object was transmitted to the Ethereum blockchain to a smart contract. And if we go to uh, Etherscan, we can actually see that uh, two minutes ago, this uh, smart contract was created by the application. And we can also see the first transaction that it sent to it, which is actually the data hash of this, uh, of this specific audit entry. For this demo, we will be walking through the uh, third scenario that I identified in my thesis called the inexperienced admin. And in this scenario, a system administrator restores a backup but in doing so, he accidentally overrides all the existing data, effectively deleting all the changes that were made after the backup. So to simulate this, we have connected the application to a local Postgres database, which we will backup and then later restore. Uh, but first, let's use this application a little bit so that we can, uh, so that we have some more uh, audit entries in, in, the, in the log. Uh, so let's create an account for me or a contact for me. And I'm Roscoe working at Acme Corporation. And my email address is roscoe at acme.com. So, of course, I also uh, belong to a contact group. So we will add me to one as well. And we'll add me to the management board where I am a senior group uh, manager. And so after executing these two actions, uh, we can go to the audit trail again. And we see these two new uh, audit entries. Uh, one for the creation of uh, my contact and one for the addition to the group. Uh, however, we also see that there's no Ethereum transaction hash set just yet. And that is because all the uh, Ethereum transactions are executed asynchronously so that the rest of the application doesn't necessarily have to wait for the, these transactions to complete. However, if we go to uh, Etherscan, we see that there are two new transactions added, and the last one is still pending. So we'll have to wait uh, uh, before we continue until they are all uh, confirmed, which they are right now. So next step is to uh, really take a backup of the existing database, which we will do with PG dump. All right, backup has been taken. So now we will create uh, another contact uh, for Willem Alexander van Oranje Nossau, uh, who works for the uh, Kingdom of the Netherlands. All right. And we will also add uh, our Willem Alexander to uh, a contact group. We will add him to the management board as well as a country manager. And if we go to the audit trail again, we see these uh, two new audit entries as well for the creation of the contact and the addition to the group. Uh, so we'll have to wait uh, again until these are uh, confirmed before we continue. All right, so now that they're both confirmed, we will uh, restore this backup, and in doing so, we will overwrite all the existing data. All right, uh, so we clearly see that there uh, were these five audit entries, but if we re refresh uh, this audit trail, now that it's been overwritten, we see these last two disappearing. So, uh, because these, these have been deleted from the database. Now we can run the audit trail validation 
And uh, resulting from it, here we see that uh, the first three audit entries, they're all correct, they're all validated, they're still, uh, they're exactly the same as uh, the hash that was transmitted to the blockchain. But these last two that we added for uh, our king, William Alexander, uh, have been reported as missing because they have been removed with the backup. So as we can see, it's still possible for things to go wrong with data or to be tampered with, but this will be detected when running the audit trail validation. Thank you very much for your time.